Welcome to an actor's library. I am Carly Burke, and today I will be reviewing the book House of Stone. Can you see it? By Novuyo Rosa Chuma. I hope I'm saying your name right. I joined a book club, y'all. Yes, I joined a book club called Read Soul Lit. And this is the first book that I read with the book club and the first one I'm reviewing from, uh, that I read from the book club. Um, you know, I've been an avid reader my whole life. Uh, kind of not so much in California as I was in New York because we were always on the train and we read all the time. And now with the invention of, uh, you know, iPhones and iPads and, and audio books and so many other things that we can do instead of read, I sort of kind of fell off on my reading. So I had given myself a goal last year to at least try to read one book a month to put in my newsletter, which is once a month. And that kind of fell off as well. So I joined this book club because I wanted to read more books from the diaspora. And I didn't even know really what books to choose. So I thought this would be a good way to be introduced to some new new literature, some new novels. Um, and so this book is, um, a, it's, it's, it's an African author and it's about the revolution in uh, when Rhodesia becomes Zimbabwe. So politically, it's it's very heavy on that subject, which is like, I don't know anything about it, but I wanted to know more so that I could have an informed com conversation if it ever came up at a social gathering or whatever. Um, but then there's also a parallel story about a family. Um, it's all taking place around the same time in Zimbabwe. And... The part about the family for me was a little bit easier to read and digest than all of the politicalness of this book. But I still found it very interesting and I still found the parallels. Um, and it was really nice to be a part of the book club because we had a discussion about it. We actually did it in two parts. We read half of it, talked about it, and then read the other half. We would meet on Zoom. And um, and have a, a book club discussion, which was very exciting. It also let me know that I understood more than I thought I did. Um, and it was interesting to hear other points of view. And it was interesting to learn from what other people who were more knowledgeable about the politics of Africa and Africa itself um, it was interesting to learn what they had to say and what they knew and, and how they shared their knowledge and how they applied it to the story. So it's narrated, it, it's written in the narration form by uh, one of the characters named Zamani. And he lives in a household where uh, a boy his age, I think they're teenagers, has gone missing. So now this boy is missing, this young man is missing, and Zamani is still, is living in the house or on the property of the boy's parents. And he kind of tries to replace the, the missing child whose disappearance may or may not have something to do with the revolution. And... Zamani seems to really just want to belong somewhere, to be a part of a family too. I think he's almost kind of jealous because maybe he feels he didn't have anybody in his life that would be so distraught if he were to go missing. The father is a bit of a mess. Um, he's an alcoholic and Z Zamani gives him alcohol and other hallucinogenic drugs to kind of bond with him in an odd sort of way and get him to tell him stories about the missing uh, friend. Not his, I can't even say they were friends, but the missing uh, son. 
And then he also becomes friends with the mother, but he has a different tactic with the mother to try to get her to open up and to tell him. He wants to hear the stories, the family stories and how they grew up and the bonding because he never had it himself. And then there's another very interesting character, the pastor, which I'm not even going to even touch on, um, but he plays a very strong part in this story as well. So I loved it. And what Dee Dee, the, the woman who uh, founded Read So Lit Book Club, she, what she, uh, she told me about a podcast called Books and Rhymes. And they also have an Instagram page run by a, an African woman, I believe. Um, yeah, I'm sure she's African. I, I don't know her name. I'm sorry. I, forgive me. Um, but she interviews all, a, a lot of authors and she interviewed this author, um, which was really, I didn't listen or read anything because I wanted to understand the story on my own. So after I read it, I listened to her podcast, Books and Rhymes. And what's interesting about it is that she asks the authors to create a playlist or pick a song that matches uh, the chapter or the book or um, or a section of the book. Uh, and I found that very, very interesting. So I loved being able to actually hear her story, how she came up with it, what it meant to her, the songs that she chose uh, to go along with the chapters. I think she did something above and beyond what uh, the Books and Rhymes lady usually asks for, but I didn't have anything to compare it to. So I just thought, wow, this is awesome because I love music and I never thought of the concept of, of an author matching music to their written works. So I found that to be fascinating and I love the podcast and I love watching Oh, I'm so sorry, Miss Books and Rhymes. Uh, her her lives on Instagram. Um, I really get a lot out of it. And so, this is my first book review. I loved it. I like it. I I recommend it to anyone that wants to read about family, uh, the revolution of of uh, Ro Ro Rhodesia. Oh my gosh, do I have it right? It's Rhodesia. Yeah, Rhodesia <laughs> becoming Zimbabwe, and it's called House of Stone. Because Zimbabwe, uh, that's what they call it. That, that's what some people have named Zimbabwe, House of Stone. So I met a lot of wonderful people, uh, mostly ladies. I don't think one guy did a, a book review on another book, I think. But um, I want to give a shout out to the ladies of um, Read So Lit, Pretty Brown Eyed Reader. Uh, let's see, who else did I meet? Um, Brown Girl Reading. Uh, Lit L.A. Goshen. I don't even know if that's how you say it, but um, she's one of my my favorites. I love to hear her uh, her her reviews and her thoughts on the books that we're reading. Um, and so I'll probably be tagging some people on Instagram. Um, I will post about it, but I recommend it. I totally recommend it if you like books of the diaspora. Uh, I su totally suggest you join Read Soul Lit. It's a great group of ladies that meet on Zoom and discuss their books. And I love that we get to hear and see the authors of the books that we read. So House of Stone, yeah, check it out.